Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights by the Paladin Malcolm Maestro Eriksson is about to return to where Long he to needs you. to be. And where do I need to be? Hello to you. Just recall then. Four hundred gold. Such a waste. Uh, but ultimately useful, I guess. I didn't deliver the hat. Oh, oh that's man. liable to leave a scar. Ha! Ha! That's not important anyway. So I was exploring this place. This uh Wizards for my home. I love this part. Stand still, so I. Ha. So this could actually be used. Well, that's good to hear, I suppose. Well, a spell that I can't use. And a chest that is locked. I was actually close the door for a moment. Okay, okay. Do what she told. We'll fight with the uh, fire elementals later. Ah, uh, it's done. Right now, I just the healer's kit. All right. Did I pick up anything regarding the summoning? Slutty Tongue, the casting of Mel's Acid Arrow. I don't I don't think I can do that yet. No, I'm missing the ability to cast that particular spell. I think. Was probably No, I, I should have more than enough actual <laughs> Slutty Tongues by now. Because if it's necessary, then we'll just probably find what we need somewhere. I here. love this part. Don't wait, not now. Ah, for fuck. Okay. Can you maybe not play with everything you see? I'm trying to do something here. Nothing in this room. It's uh, amazing how all these wizards just keep having person cells in their living in their uh, uh, homes. Is there not one wizard who never suspects anyone else will break into his house that he will require such room? Ah, uh, well... Nope. Alright, fine, we'll play. Alright, so here we have Nax. This elf looks gaunt and desperate. It seems as though it's been captive for far too long. Hello. Ah, oh, you there. Yes, you. Would you be so kind as to help me out? I seem to find myself a prisoner here. 
It's a rather delicate situation from which I cannot extract myself. Who are you? My name is Nax, a wizard whose grasp has somewhat exceeded his reach. I came to explore this ancient laboratory, long sourced secrets. Like you, I passed through the, through the magical portal in the cold. It is the only possible way to enter this nefarious dungeon. However, I was caught unaware by a rather powerful ward placed upon the portal itself. With a brilliant flash of light, the ward stripped me of most of my powerful magic items and teleported them somewhere within this dungeon and imprisoned me here in this inescapable cell. It is your good fortune that I arrived here first and not you. Had you crossed through the portal before me, it would have been you who triggered the magical ward, and I would be on the, on the one on the other side of this wall. But since our position is not reversed, it is I who must appeal to you for help. So if you free me from this prison, I will reward you with gold or magic items. I have a certain snow globe of immense power you might find interesting. Snow globe? An extremely powerful magic item I acquired from a lovely young archaeologist named Lillian. I won't bore you with the tawdry details. No, 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 please bore me with the tawdry details. That will make this much more interesting conversation. I haven't been able to ascertain quite how to unlock the powers of the snow globe, but I'm sure Lillian will gladly explain it to you. She'll probably give you a nice reward too. I imagine she's most eager to reclaim her little prize. She's probably in the tavern at Beirut as well, sulking over his disappearance even now. Hmm, well he obviously doesn't have it. How do I get you out of there? Well, I'm not certain, but I have a theory. Cyril Lyricus, the long-dead owner of this dungeon, was well known for his skill in summoning various creatures. He was particularly fond of water elementals, so the legends say. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a magical summoning pool or two in this dungeon. You could use the pool to enact a summoning ritual and call a water elemental. I think it might be to have the power to release me. Either that, or it would attack you on sight. I'm not really sure. Well, how do I perform the summoning ritual? All you have to do is find the proper reagent and place it in the summoning pool, and cast the appropriate spell on the pool. The only problem is I don't know what reagents or which spell Cyril might have used. But you could probably find that information in the library. Cyril liked to keep detailed records of everything he did. What if the summoning requires a spell I can't cast? Well, I doubt Cyril would have wanted to a spell every time he needed to perform the ritual, but if a spell it requires, I'll bet there's a ring or two in this dungeon that can cast the spell. Figure out the reagent and the spell, then all you have to do is find the ring, put the reagent in the pool and zap it with the ring and presto, one water elemental. Don't worry, Nax, I'll get you out of here. Your determination is reassuring, friend. I wish you all the luck in the world. Useless git. Here comes Halfling Dead. Well, better than to wait until I finish the conversation. I can't imagine why uh, Cyril would have these uh, shadow fiends to guard his dungeon. This pack is heavier than I am. <laughs> they don't seem like they would make excellent conversation.
You know how expensive it is. It was so. You know what? I'm just gonna hand in the vast head while I'm back here. Might as well do that. Let's see. That's back at the mercenary enclave. Greetings. Welcome back. How is the life of the bounty hunter treating you? You bring any orc heads back for me, or is there something else I can do for you? I have Vav's head. Well, I guess Vav won't be cutting off any supply lines anymore. I think I'm going to mount his head on a stake right outside the barracks. It's good for morale and all. Here's the posted bounty for this blasted bandit's head. Five hundred gold pieces. Take it. I consider the money well spent. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'll be going now. Feel free to come back. If you ever need anything in the way of martial supplies, the more armed soldiers we get in the field, the better our chances of defeating those Luskin dogs. Well, that's certainly something. Bob said. You know, that doesn't look anything like the head I had in my inventory. In fact, it doesn't even look like an orc. Alright. Back to the dungeon. Alright, it's locked, so... If you would please unlock it. Okay, okay. Got a book on uh, water summoning, so I'm not gonna get another. Heavy flail! Not particularly the most useful spell for items, but neat, I guess. Tommy is. Yeah, he's not that combo thing. Just making sure. That's a lot of air elementals. Well, my discipline should be high enough that they won't, they won't knock me on my ass. In fact, they knock themselves on their ass. Which is absolutely fine. Still, so I can hit her. I love this part. Any chance I could destroy this? That should slow down the amount of fire elementals coming in.
more shadows. I don't think these, these shadows are undead, right? I don't know if they are classified as undead. That will make things a little bit easier, though. Yeah, that's what I Here comes Halfling Death! They're not smart enough to open doors. I guess this is where all the people came to die. Oh, the Rakshasa's eye. Alright. Not sure if that's important. Ah, slot tongue. And a chest that is locked. Okay, okay. It's done. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. This room looks like a functional wizard's lab. Good. And it should everything we need. That's, uh, no. Ah, the ring of melts. That's what I was looking for. I'll take the quartz. Box, but nothing really interesting. Laboratory notes, all right. This better be the lab notes of Cyril, who match the mage who created this lab laboratory. I believe I have at last unlocked the keys to creating the staff command. As I suspected all along, the key ingredients were a Rakshasa eye and a quartz crystal. However, determining the proper spell cast on the components once they were combined to my laboratory was not as simple as I had first assumed. My error came in looking for an obscure solution, missing the stunningly obvious answer right in front of me. Of course, the necessary spell to a staff of command is dominance. I must remember this valuable lesson. The most obvious solution is often the right one, even when dealing with the arcane. Yeah, I don't think I can cast that spell. So I'm not going to. No, uh, but why? Hey, thank you for the uh, stuff. All right, one more room to investigate. Ouch! I'm starting to run out of those uh, sub the substances, and I don't think I have a squirrel restoration with me. Ah, uh, pack is heavier than I am. 
Yeah, I'm gonna finish this fight first. Alright, well, that should do it. Thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you all next time.